So I went into mm-hmm. the hospital um, to have um, what every pregnant lady doesn't want to have, which is a sweep, which is where they try and remove the membranes to um, bring on pregnancy for you naturally. And as I was laying there, the midwife said, oh, your, your blood pressure has gone up. Um, you can't go home. And this was mm-hmm. about five o'clock on the Tuesday afternoon. And I was like, what do you mean I can't go home? And she said, your blood pressure is such that we really can't let you out of the hospital. Hand over your keys. I'm putting you up onto the ward. I was like, oh, OK, that, that's great. So I phoned my husband and said that fear that you are going for, uh, for pre-baby um, wetting of the head is no longer. You need to come in and get my stuff from the car. They wouldn't even let me go and get anything from the car, I guess, in case I drove off. Um, mm-hmm. So I was then taken up to ward and all the checks and everything else were undertaken. And they began inducing me uh, that evening. Um, Nothing happened that evening. Nothing happened on the Wednesday. They continued to monitor me. My blood pressure went down, uh, continued to monitor me and induce me um, as they would normally. Um, On the Thursday morning, they uh, decided that they were going to break my waters. Um, One of the strangest experiences of my life. Um, and I will never look at crochet hook the same way. Uh, mm-hmm. So then they um, broke my waters and um, they then moved me into the delivery room about 12 o'clock on that, that day. And um, I was then given, um, I think it's oxytocin, which is kind of the natural hormone that begins the process. My memories from then are very, very vague. Um, mm-hmm. I remember bouncing on a birthing ball or a yoga ball, whatever they may be. Um, I remember um, laying back, but my, my last memory then is saying, I can't breathe mm-hmm. and sounding like I was underwater. Um, my next memory is on the Saturday morning when I pulled out, I was pulling out the tubes uh, as I was laying in intensive care. 